What's going on everybody? It's another day. The car life. So, this can stop moving. Today we are trying to fix up. Damn. Today we got the GMC Acadia SLT. Uh, uh, let me get a light for you guys. This is my GMC Acadia. I'm trying to rebuild it right now because it does have a couple problems with it. I could use this as my daily car and then put my Infinity inside here and then turn it into a race car throughout 2020. So, what I'm trying to fix here is this needed a temperature sensor and then it needed a... It might need a transmission speed sensor, crankshaft sensor, however you want to call it. But that is inside the transmission right there, if you guys can see. And that is really hard. That requires taking me this bumper off again. It requires me taking, clearing up all there just so I can get to that pan. If you can see right there is the brake resistance sensor. Hopefully that's the switch that will make the stability track and everything else go off rather than the speed sensor. The battery did die. Today is a new day. Yes, you obviously see me in the same sweatshirt because this is my work sweatshirt. But I have something really special. Uh, yeah, this last video you saw we did the plum spacer and we put on my new rims. Uh, today we have a called it's called a throttle body spacer. Let me this right here. This is called a throttle body spacer. It goes in between the spacer and the plenum. It's supposed to create more airflow, like the plenum spacer that we did. It's supposed to give you a little bit more power. This throttle body spacer doesn't give you a lot of power. You're like, oh, I'm gaining like 50,000 horsepower or 50 horsepower from it. No, it's just something little, something little, because I have to get this car tuned eventually. That's what I plan to do this year, because I really have nothing else to do except for uh, wrap the roof. Guys, please let me know in the comment section. These wheels are actually growing on me. I don't know, I try to keep them clean. I can't really tell if they need air or not. I don't know if I should keep these and then put tire letters on them with these, this color, or if I should make them black and then put tire letters on. They remind me of the R34, I think they're called Omari rims. Driving this car today, all day today, so I'm letting it cool down. As you can see, this is also what I need to get done this year. Look, at, if you can see the paint cracks all around the hood. Right here, that chipped when I was on my way to New York. Look, this is all the clear coat, all the clear coat cracked. The clear coat cracked and i bond on most of it another chip right there that's all we're aiming for though a 10 footer plenty spacer goes right there there's a gasket right there i think i don't know if i will need a lot more room i'm really hoping i don't need a lot more room this will just push forward maybe a little an inch and then this will maybe come forward an inch but i might try to like because this is flexible so i might try to find a way to literally right there and it pushes it like an inch it's first simple easy you yeah, just gotta take the intake off. This is just the intake. That's the intake resonator. Take those four bolts out. It should come off right away. I do not have to unplug the throttle body, but I probably will end up relearning it. And it really is dirty in there, but I do not want to touch the butterfly plate. I can mess it up and I can mess up the whole throttle body, which will require me to get a new one. All right, guys, so we came into a little problem. Yes, it is nighttime because it was taking more than it should have been. And I stripped one of the hex bolts. Really fine, but I stripped one and I've been trying to get it out. I got it to move this slight little bit. It's also okay that the bolts did strip. It does come with no one since it has to be longer. Extractor set, I just picked it up. This is the what the set I used. For some reason, when I let the car sit, it sounds like it's got cams. Not warm yet. Look, see? Sounds like we got cams. I'm with Chris right now. We just installed the throttle body spacer. Uh, we got the bolt that was actually stripped. It's pretty mean. We do have an air leak, which I will fix tomorrow. This is an air leak. It sounds like it got cams, which sounds pretty awesome. Here with day two of the car. I'm recording my phone right now because my camera is actually acting up for some reason. I don't know why it's not turning on. And, and what also sucks about this hood is it starts chipping at it, so I gotta get like a sharpie and color it in. Okay, so it's leaking actually down here. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I did find the problem is that this gasket over here kind of got crushed in one corner. I mean, that's kind of bad. This is the gasket that originally came with it. It's a metal gasket. New gasket on. Well, it's not really new, it's the old OEM gasket. The metal gasket in the back. Hopefully, that will work. I'm I'm gonna set up the camera behind the car. This is gonna be the cold. It's actually gonna be a cold start. We're gonna see if we still have an air leak. So far, so good. Since I haven't drove this car 
in forever. The steering is kind of hard. And the throttle response with the new uh, stuff installed. You can hear my brakes. But steering is hard. It does sound good. It is warmed up. It's getting there, it's getting there. Park the car, it's over there next to my other one. Uh, it did do better, the engine light is not on. Um, this is actually being recorded on my camera right now. Uh, no engine light, no nothing. So, eventually this year it's gonna go on the dyno. And we are gonna see how much power it's actually making, but it's supposed to be with this uh, new throttle body spacer. It's supposed to be four horsepower and more torque.